No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Wow. I've got to admit, you have completely defied my first impression of you. Eye lasers. I'll be sure and look out for that next time. Any other juicy bits of intel? Do they? Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't so sure myself. Protecting people from technology seems like a big job for such a small group. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Wow, Mr. House is looking for you, huh? What do you think he wants? Bowling partner? I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Yeah, I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are for novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a Brotherhood trick or two. My favorite subject. I want... a dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Can I make it up? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders, somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow, watch him at work. He did. For years, he fought with the council. 
taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb, but he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for? He didn't even care. They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Yeah, I miss him. Like what? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Ever been nosy? I was, once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. She left the Brotherhood wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though, once in a while. If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. No more specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Ooh, got any juicy gossip? See you around. Hail the People's Republic.